Good evening, I'm the Game Tutor, and tonight we're going to be looking at Heroes of the Storm. Now, first, let me apologise for the slight delay in this video coming out. I was going to do a literal first play of this a few days ago, but as I was making the video, I got really quite engrossed, and in the end, decided that I'd do a grades video instead. Now, also, let me say that this is not your usual grades video, as this is very much a technical alpha. So many aspects of the game are unfinished or currently not in place or very, very much subject to change. But I will do my best to give you my overview and early thoughts. Now, let me start off by saying that I really like Heroes of the Storm. If you watched my Dead Island Epidemic video, you'll know I only have a passing interest in Dota 2 and League of Legends. But this has grabbed me, and the main reason for this is that there are some reasons why I love Hearthstone, and that's the simplicity of the structure and gameplay. For those of you not familiar with how the genre works, there are two opposing teams whose goal is to destroy their enemy bases to win. In Heroes of the Storm especially, there's also map objectives that give you bonuses in combat and allow you to summon monsters that do damage for you. Now defensive structures are in place to prevent teams running straight to the enemy base, as well as weak computer controlled units which periodically spawn and travel down towards each base along a predefined path towards the opposing side. Now there's normally two or three lanes and these are the main ways of getting about. A player controls a single powerful in-game unit called a hero, which in this game is made up of blizzard characters. Heroes gain XP by killing enemies and completing objectives, and as the heroes get stronger they gain new abilities. Now the game starts with a fun tutorial which sets the tone for the game perfectly, and that's a game that focuses on skill, action and humour rather than complexity and stat building. The main difference compared to the rest of the mobile online battle arena is that Heroes of the Storm is really all about speed. You don't have to worry about last hitting minions, gold, items or any much of that really. You can also recruit neutral camp minions which add to your team and give your lane minions a bit of a boost. Many core hero abilities are also built around getting through minions quickly, allowing you to clear them out and move forward, making lane pressuring a very much a thing of the past. Now if you've ever wanted to get into a game like this but always been put off by the complexities then Heroes of the Storm is most definitely one for you to look at. One thing I really like also is the fact there are a large amount of maps which all play very differently which makes the game a lot more varied than others in the genre. Currently there are only traditional lane types but I expect further down the line we'll see things such as base control or capture the flag. Who knows, we might even get Warsong Gulch. Now, there are currently five maps. Blackheart's base sees you collect gold, which can then be used to pay a pirate to cannon enemy towers. Dragonshire allows a team to control a powerful dragon when two other points are controlled. The Haunted Mines has a separate map players can warp to to kill enemies and gain skulls. The more skulls you collect, the more powerful your golem is when it spawns. Cursed Hollow sees you contribute, collect tributes and once three have been gained the other team is cursed meaning enemies have one hit point and tower hit points are halved and finally Garden of Terror which allows you to kill enemies, gain seeds and when you get 100 seeds you can raise a Garden Terror to help you destroy the enemy base. Because of all of this the game is a lot more objective based than others in the genre and usually the game is lost because your team didn't do the objectives. Now every few levels you gain a new talent and lots of these talents feel extremely powerful and game changing. There's also quite a decent amount of choice in abilities and at the later stage you get to choose a hero ability or a legendary ability even um, which dramatically can change the way the game plays. Now there are some things that I'm not as confident about and currently one of those is the pricing. Now some heroes are priced at £7.50 and some skins are at the same price. Now while I have absolutely no issue charging for things, after such a well balanced pricing structure in Hearthstone, I can't help but feel Heroes is slightly on the expensive side. I would have preferred to see maybe in game money used oh, for Heroes and real money used for skins and mounts. Now there are a lot of things I love and a few things I think could be improved, but these could all easily be sorted out before release. Overall, Heroes of the Storm is a fantastic addition to the genre and along with Hearthstone should lead Blizzard into the next generation.
the next two months on our Steam group, we will be giving away free Steam keys every week exclusive to members. And if you've enjoyed our video, please bookmark our site, thegametutor.co.uk and come check us out on Facebook, Twitter and Dailymotion.